Hi guys, uh, another uh, aircraft review, another diecast. This is uh, a 762 model. Um, it's made by a company called Skymax Models, and this actually features the Strike Master light attack aircraft. Now, this actual aircraft was manufactured by the British um, company called the British Aircraft Corporation. No longer exists, but it's now incorporated into what is now known as British Aerospace BAE. Um, its origins are from, I suppose, the late 50s, early 60s. Um, it was based on what was called the Jet Provost, which was a trainer aircraft for the Royal Air Force. However, in the late 60s, um, the BAC decided to try and make a import version, sorry, export version. And they did this by making uh, the Strike Master, which was basically an upgraded engine and uh, making the aircraft actually shootable for weapons. So it has two 762 machine guns and hard points, enough for bombs or rocket pods, etc. Okay, so um, comes in standard packaging, as you can see, very good. Bit of potted history about the Strike Master light aircraft there. Okay, who built it, where it was from, etc. The actual aircraft itself comes in the standard plastic packaging which the diecast aircraft, as you can see, fits in quite well. With that, you get all the plastic stuff. Um, so, wheels up, wheel down. Um, bombs, as you can see there. A stand and an instruction booklet. One of the best things about this model is you actually get a key, which is there. Now I've used this key on other models and it's something the big manufacturers do not supply. So Corgi don't do it and I know Hobbymaster don't do it and I wish they did. It's basically a key so you can change things around on the aircraft. For example, I'll show you the underneath where the plug is there, right in dead centre. You slot the key in there, you can pull that out and then put in the stand which is there. Okay. So the actual aircraft itself. I'll put it back in the stand there, keeping it off the floor. This is in the um, livery of the Saudi Arabian Air Force, who was one of the um, export customers from BAC in the 60s. I believe they used them through the late 60s, 70s, into the 80s. Um, this aircraft was used by the Royal New Zealand Air Force, also by the Omani Air Force, and I think a couple of South American countries. Um, they didn't actually see action. Uh, I know within the Omani Air Force they was in the Dofar Rebellion and I believe they were used up until 1995 even seeing combat use in 1995 in South America. Um, but again uh, if you want to research the aircraft please uh, do that. Diecast made cockpit is excellent and the actual cockpit itself that's in an open position you can put that into the closed position underneath is all the hard points so two bombs at the moment another hard point there which relates to those bombs or fuel tanks and stuff like that I've got this aircraft in the wheels up position at the moment but again with the courtesy of that key I can remove the uh, up position and put down wheels down to display it as if it was uh, on the edge of an airfield or something like that. Delivery is second to none. The paint scheme, all Saudi Air Force, as you can see there. Excellent, very excellent indeed. All over a brilliant model. Um, I shall just show you the tail design. There's not much to the tail, but worthy of noting anyway okay um, I picked this model up for about 40 British pounds um, again by this company called Skymax Models I'm never really heard of them I'll be honest before this but I'll be honest in terms of competition to Corgi and Hobbymaster they're really good instructions there shows you what to do 
there's the actual stun and all the bits you get with it so really is a good model and a nice little collection um i'm actually interested in the bac strike master because it is a very little known aircraft um like i said it was um made on the back end of the jet provost which is this aircraft here which um was a trainer aircraft in the royal air force but um bac wanted to um try and get some export sales and it was sold to mainly air forces who needed a kind of a counter insurgency aircraft stroke low level strike aircraft but nothing too technical and this thing ticked all the boxes it's actually a two seat aircraft Again, I'll focus on the cockpit there. And um, again, upgraded Viper engine by Rolls-Royce. It had inner thunder wings to get bombs and or rockets. And it's internally housed 7.62mm machine guns. And as I say, they were used in the 70s by the Omani Air Force in the Dofar Rebellion. To, to great success, I believe. Um, the New Zealand Air Force actually used these as well. Um, didn't actually use them in combat, from what I know. Again, I'm prepared to be corrected. However, <clears throat> they were uh, used extensively by the NZ Air Force right through the 70s, 80s, and I think they were retired in the early 90s. Um, believe it or not, there is many of these still knocking about. Um, there's a British display team called Viper, and they actually uses the Air Forces um, painted in Saudi Air Force colours, Omani Air Force colours, New Zealand uh, Air Force colours. And uh, it's a really cool display team. Uh, the reason being is there was a lot of airframes still around the world that were still in very, very good flyable conditions. And bearing in mind a lot of RAF guys initially trained on these, um, you know, it's, it's well capable for them to fly, etc. So, yep. Yeah, um, Another good addition to my collection and a very good aircraft, very prominent, um, very small but um, nonetheless uh, excellent aircraft and uh, these will be uh, flying for some time in the future I guess with the um, air show circuit etc so be sure to check that out. I'll, I'll try and put a link to a Team Viper who fly these in the UK at air shows as well so you can see what they do and the sort of thing they're about so thanks for that yeah another good die cast model um all the bits and bobs there and uh, that thing there the key is really really good little innovation thing which i wish the major producers like corgi and hobby master would follow just helps pulling bits and bobs out to change it from air to air to air to ground or parked up mode um anyway as i say Thanks for bearing with me. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Hope you uh, guys are doing okay. And uh, if you like it, um, just give me a thumbs up. And uh, hope to hear from you soon. Again, any questions about the model or the actual real life thing, please put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I may not know the answer, but I will do my best to find it out for you. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, take care, guys. All the best. Bye.